first podcast, Houston Alexander Podcast, mm. and I am here with Big P. Yes, sir. And Eclipse. They're not, now, I got to ask off time. Hi, P. Starting with you. Okay. How did you get started rapping? Because, you know, now everyone seems to be uh, waking up one morning and saying, oh, I want to start rapping. Oh, oh, I want to start singing. How did you get into the rap game, man? You want the true story? I want, I want the true I want the true story how you all got right, into the rap right, game. listen, let's check this out. My favorite artist of all time, Michael Jackson. Okay. So when I was a kid, I was into Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? I was dancing and singing. Okay, first. well, huh, was you doing all the moves? I know how to do it. I can still do it to this day. Don't get it twisted. Right. Don't let the fat fool you now. No. All right, don't now. Let the fool all you right. Now. I'll bust out that Billy Jean. Uh, uh, oh, uh, don't, don't, don't do it right now. Okay, well, no, finish, not right now, story. but like, y'all warm, give me a little warm up and I'll bust it out. But anyway, so one day, you know, I mean, I've always been involved in hip hop. My mom, you know what I'm saying? She's big in hip hop. Oh, please. You know, yeah, knowing your big mom. Big in yes. hip hop. My auntie, you know, my aunt Lisa, she's big in hip hop. She used to rap. She was like the first person outside of real rappers that I knew that really was trying to rap. So they inspired me. And then one day I'm chilling with my brother. I'm listening to Tupac. And I'm like, you know what, man? This is like, all they're doing is rhyming words. You know, like, I think I could do this. You know what I'm saying? So I tried it, and I was good at it. And then I just kept doing it. And then I was like, man, you know what I love this? I start getting into the culture, seeing how it impacts people, how much people. When you get a platform like this, you can make change with just your voice. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to have the most money or nothing like that. You can just be you. You know what I'm saying? So that play, and, and, and Rappers like Biggie influenced me. I could be myself. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to worry about nobody's criticism. This talent right here, I overlook everything. So when I was a kid, that was big. But see, hey, that's incredible to me because you start, you went from Michael Jackson, okay, to wanting to to rhyme because you you heard Tupac. You, yeah. you heard you heard you heard Tupac for the first time. Yeah, well, I had already heard him. But I, I had never really, really sat down and listened to him like that. And this for this particular the first time that I ever sat down and really listened to him. And the first song I really listened to was Trap. You know, you know they got the trapped in this prison of seclusion. You know that. Yeah, so yeah. I'm yeah. listening to it and I'm like, man, this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, man, I could do this. I'm telling Los. I'm like, I can do this. You know, Los like, do it, do it. So, it, but, so it, but, it, but it, that that changed everything. But it's so. crazy that that you was probably listening to rap for a long time. Yeah, before yeah, that, but yeah. that it was that particular time in exactly. that particular song where you was like, uh, this is this is incredible. Exactly. Exactly. Man, so that man, so uh, clips. Mm. We gonna we gonna go to you. Yeah. How did you get started in the rap game? You will not know what really was the catalyst. I had been in Chicago my whole life, and I moved here when I was like about nineteen. Mother worked for Union Pacific, and I was always just a rapper in the neighborhood, always rapping. But when I saw, and this is a credit to Omaha rappers. Right. I saw Pocket Pete with Stacking Bread, and I saw all these hustlers that really did street stuff like I did and took all their money and put it into their business. It changed my whole life. That's why I give them all sorts of props. Like in Chicago, we spent our money on the clothes and all that goof ass. I mean, goofy stuff, but it meant a lot to say, hey. No, uh, hey, man, we on the podcast. Okay, man. well, you, I'm, you, trying you, be, you, you, I'm trying to be I'm trying to be politically it's correct. A, it's all good. But, okay, hey, but hey, I don't want to get outside my parameters. We are on the podcast. Right. You don't go insane. Right, well, it meant a lot to, to try to keep it on a, on, a, on a clean level to me. I'm trying to in you my mind, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm trying to keep it professional so okay. that people can get affected by my it's, message. Yeah, but it's, it's all <laughs> good. See, but see, the point. Hey, I see you giving props to Omaha people. Man. But like, what I'm asking you is, how did you get started with rapping? Because my, because my Chicago, best, because my best friend told me that I could, and he was good at it, and he was good at it freestyling, and it was almost mm -hmm. like he. I still remember my first rap to this very day that I ever wrote. Right. And it was like, he, he, 
yet. Uh, you want me to spit it? No, um, uh, no, I don't. Huh, want to huh, huh. I don't want you to spit it. No, but I want you to talk into the mic. Okay, <laughs> you're, you're, si- you're right. sidelining the mic. Right, okay? right, 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 <laughs> right. I gotta be right here directly into it. You know what I'm saying? This is my first podcast. Get off my back. <laughs> okay, but you know what I'm saying? Hey, right, well, uh, shake yeah, shake, shake it off, it baby. Off, let me stand to the let me stand to the mic. You know what I'm saying? Let me hold it like I'm on stage. Oh, don't, oh, don't hold it like that. No, <laughs> <laughs> no my no, my I, best I, friend I, told me that I could not rap. And he said, you know what? Don't worry about it. I'm going to be rich. <laughs> this is what my best friend told me. Now. Okay. He said, don't worry about it, man. I'm going to be rich. And you're going to be my homeboy. You're going to be right there. Though. You ain't got to worry about nothing. I'm going to take care. I said, man, I can rap. I said, I just don't apply myself. I said, I don't put it on paper. I said, I don't put my thoughts on paper. And the next day, see, because we, I was a neighborhood guy, so we would hang out on my back porch, and I would do the beats with the on the back porch with the wood and your knuckles. Right, right, that was right. that was the, the cypher. So, you know, the next day, Everybody came back because he had said in front of everybody how I wasn't going to make it. So I came back out and I challenged him. I said, the next day, I'm going to have a rap. And the very next day, I had Lunatic. And it was so graphic and so detailed. And it really sparked a, a, a inner core that I knew that I was supposed to do this. Because All right. But, was, you originally, but you originally from Chicago, Yes, right? I am. Born and raised. Man. Yeah, it was. So how did your family end up in Omaha, Nebraska? Well, my mother has worked for the Union Pacific uh, when they bought out Southwest uh, through Chicago. Chicago's uh, train company was Southwest for a very long time. Right. And Union Pacific just bought them all out. P, hi, are you from Omaha? Born and raised. Born and raised. Yeah, and, born and, and raised. Now, see what I've noticed, because I'm originally from East St. Louis. Right. Um, Omaha, or this the surrounding area where we stand, is made up of people who have spouses, family, mm-hmm. right, or they're either from the military, right, or work has brought them to the to the, to the city. So this this whole entire area is made up of people who came here because of spouses, or work, or the military. So I've seen a lot of faces, and I've seen a lot of people come into into town. So, uh, P, I, I know you know a lot of people who are from out of town yeah. that that come here. But don't know that we got so much talent. Right? Yeah, no, definitely. Don't, don't know that we got so much talent. So, um, what has been, been the progression with the way you've seen the scene, especially the hip hop scene? Because we have the R and B scene, we have we have the rock scene, we have all right. these different scenes going on in Omaha. But what is the difference? Have you you've been seeing with what you've been doing? Right. With with hip hop and you know and rapping. What what's the evolution from, um, from your perspective? Since I started, you know, the game is. It's changed, especially in Omaha, in a good way, you know. And it, and I see more people being more interested in hip-hop now in the city. And I like that, you know what I'm saying? But when you say hip-hop, do you mean the culture or do you mean the, the music? Um, I would say a little bit of both. I would say a little bit of both, but mainly the music. A lot of artists now in the city is getting a lot of love, you know what I'm saying, from their locals, you know what I'm saying? Just like I was just telling you how I just do my own show. To me, that's kind of foreign to me. But people's going to say what they're going to say. We haven't had nobody hit here and really be like a top tier mainstream artist. So, I mean, how much love, honestly, could you really, do you really, uh, is anybody here right now? Maybe, maybe ISO might, might have the best Yeah, chance. well, yeah, right, right now, ISO has gotten signed to, to Strange, Strange Music. music. Right. And, but, but outside of ISO, outside of ISO, who else could sell anything in the Lost? You think somebody, you know, we've never had no big time major. So, I mean... To, you know, we had four. We had four clip back in yeah, the day who were yeah. signed. Who were signed? And then we yeah. had we had guys who didn't got deals. You know, Pocket Pete he got a he deal went, before. Yeah, yeah. But two was doing his thing before. You know, it's other guys who've done their thing, but we've never had nobody. Deal. You know what I'm saying? I, I won't. Uh, I think that the city sees and other people are seeing that we actually got we got some here. You know, we got a lot here, and I see I a know. lot of people. On social media saying, man, people need to start doing this more with the locals. I do this with the locals now. I'm starting to listen to local music more and more. The local artists been dropping heat lately. I'm seeing that now. And I've been a local artist in this local game since 2000, you know, since 2001. Well, but see, I don't like saying local artists. I, I I had to change up from, from saying that a long time ago. Right. Independent right. artists. That's right. Which and, is a, and, that's better. That's to me, better. to me, you're you're an independent artist. That it could, because you know, being First, local, 
it, it's cool to say I'm local. Right. But but but, but mean, being an independent artist is different. You, I see artists here, man. These these new dudes now, man. I, I can't even call them new because they they've been around. But like they they doing their thing in the city, and like it, it, it's dope to me. And, and, and back when I was a young like younger, social media wasn't that major, so we didn't have Instagram and all these like they do now. So you see a lot of like so they can be heard a lot easier. Yeah, all they, by we the didn't local. have all these different platforms exactly. that we had so in the, the early two thousand. Exactly. So back in the day, it was harder to get heard by your locals because. They can't just click on something on Facebook and listen to the first half of it or anything like that. Just listen real quick and then decide if they like it or not. We got to actually walk up to them with them having no knowledge of us whatsoever and be like, and you present And present yourself. Exactly. <laughs> so it's, it, it's nowadays it makes it more accessible. You know what I'm saying? It's more accessible to local artists. So the local scene is seeing it. They're like, man, we got some dope. Yeah. And we got a lot of dope, man. It's, I, I can name. Man, we got dope but see, here. I've been I've been seeing this for a long time because I've been collecting a lot of the uh, independent music that's from our area um, since the nineties. Right. right. See, so I got a lot of music from 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 CDs to tapes to to MP3s. I got a lot of people's music nowadays. See, so um, clips. What what do you think about the progression since you've been from Chicago up until now? Because you've dealt with a lot of legends. Yes. In the game. Yes, I have. Uh, well, I'm gonna say this. First of all, ownership. When these guys are walking around here, they got their name attached to, you know, the actual right. product, and it's really business oriented. Where they have to file taxes at the end of the year. I mean, it's not just talk anymore. Right. You know what I mean? These guys have got the fun gang. I gotta give them shouts out with the fun bus. Got his own bus, and you know he does all these deals where he's so, trying to. So you got artists investing in their sales. That's right, way more. Like you, I mean, Which and it's dope. all of it. Not just some of you don't see them in the movies, you don't see them in bowling alleys, you don't see them. No, they are in their venues. They're they're at their events and they're pushing twenty four seven. Broke arm and all, my man did right, that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about. I just gotta get proper props to do. I ain't no I ain't no rider or nothing like that. But you know, gas station putting on all the people they've been putting on with they uh Facebook show that they do every Saturday. You know, and giving us platforms like this is big. This is huge. We growing. But I but exactly. the, with the internet itself. Mm-hmm. Is is the gift and the curse, mm-hmm. right? Because because you know with, with with all the drama, everyone's everyday problems, et cetera, et cetera. You see on the internet with music, now you got more a- access to, uh, to to all these great independent artists, right? And, and now with 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 this platform like this, you can see the individual right there, right? You know, you, People you want can see that. how a person acts, right? You, know, you can just see you can see a person philosophy. And, and, and the way that the the way they see things. Exactly. And that's why you see a lot more artists making it nowadays without even having to sign a deal. Also you makes it personal. Saying? Like exactly. They, they coming into your lives. That's they love they love people love to see who you are. Right. What do you do, the person you are. It makes them feel like, man, this this my guy. I can kick it with this right. dude. Ever since on reality regular, TV. Exactly. And I like his music. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Ever so since. It's dope. Like it, you know, I, I like it. In the age of social media, like you said, it's a gift and a curse. You know? Yeah, so uh so you can see this person, whether it be a female, male, whomever, and be like, Oh man, I like this guy's music or this this girl's music, and I can kick it with it, it just feel like I can kick it with that right. person. Family. I can identify with that person. You know what I'm saying? So it, again, it, it's these types of platforms is good for independent artists. So with with me seeing uh, the progression from the early 2000s up until now, the the you know the 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 music has changed, uh, the lyrics have changed, right. but but it's 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 stayed the same right. with how you present the product. Right. Right. You got you got to hustle. That's you right. To. You know I don't care what social media That's site it. you got. Hey, man. You you still. <laughs> Have put that to work puzzle. in. That's you, right. still, you still have to put that work in. That's you still, right. you still got to give them, you know, your 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 USB. You still got to give them your CD. You got to give them the information. You still got to shake hands and kiss babies. Man. You know what I'm saying? You still no matter what. Still a campaign. No matter what though, you got to. No matter what though, like you know what I'm saying. And boy, you know, I started off battle rapping, and I'm like, man, I'm I got bars. I'm a beast. Like you know, can't nobody touch me. I'm. I eat you up. But no one knows who you are. Exactly. And then when business got <laughs> lined up. <laughs> Maybe I should get in the studio. Get some business. <laughs> Maybe I should start doing some shows. <laughs> Networking. 
I'm, in, I'm <laughs> inboxing actually get some, paid of the, for this. Some, some of the some of the top artists in the city. Like yeah. you want to collab? They don't know who I am. They like, seen, because you 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 have seen, no music. I have nothing out here. Right. So I'm like, okay. And then you put the work in, and you see the results. You know what I'm saying? So yes, I that's you know it. I hear you, bro. Work. It, yes, that's man. now uh, in that clips. I see you hustling all the man, time. You came I into do. the studio giving people CD. <laughs> Right, so you this know, hey, and, 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 hey, you supposed to hustle yes. all the time. So, I so, hey, so I gotta ask you, 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 you came from the battle rap scene, right? You came from Chicago That's and started right. doing your thing. How, how was it the first time in the studio? See, I think Ooh. people want to know as an artist. I was. How was your first? Time I was in horrible. The I'm a I was horrible. First. I had so many takes, you know, because I didn't take it. Like it was a business, you Wait, know. But you didn't know what to do, right? You just yeah. wanted to record. Music. I was, I just wanted to record. I was very like, uh, like I want to say, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Is what I'm saying. Like it was fun. But, but then, it was but exhilarating. But in the studio won't cost it, you money. That's right. I'm saying to you, it was it was mistakes that I learned through my pocket. But right. still, I, <laughs> <laughs> he asked me. I had to tell you, you know. But yeah. But after I got uh, it done and yeah. actually got the song, I I took it home and I listened to it a thousand times. Like a thousand times, I couldn't get enough of hearing it, and it encouraged me to go and pay more money to the studio and make an actual product that I could, you know, put out to the world. So, so what, 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 with you, man, what, what was your first time in the Check studio? This out. You hey, might hey, be I would have got to hear, got to hear. You it. might be shocked. All right. My first time in the studio, I was real quiet in the booth. Real quiet in the booth. I was in the booth. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking to myself. <laughs> Maybe the mic is going to project my voice into the, and then uh, they just raise it and do. Uh, no. So I'm just saying my words. I'm in there. Uh, you, 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 you was mumble uh, rapping before they prom. started. <laughs> they even get, yeah. You was I mean, he started the this. Original mumble the original. And I can't stand mumble rappers, though. Uh, I see. <laughs> see, the original. You were the first mumble rapper. <laughs> the, dude is, hey, the producer literally, he. Uh, hey, uh, hey, man. Uh, you got to get louder than that. I'm like. Oh, so I gotta get loud. So ever since then, I've been loud. Oh um, man, I done made transitions. And now, man, I do so, five songs in an hour, man. So the hey, so you went in, you went in literally and had to learn uh, uh, how to how to be efficient with your time. Yeah, mm, it's, right? it's a it's a skill to be a to 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 know how to record. Like you have to know how to record. You can't just It'll think cost you. that I just go in the booth and just say whatever and they record it however and it's, they just mix and master it. It's going to come out. No, you got to know how to record. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So that's, like I said, I, I started out there. It would take two, three hours to do a song. Now I go in the booth and I'm knocking out five songs in an hour. You See, but that, that's, so, that, that's just being more experienced than what you was yeah, when you and, first started. And, 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 when, and you know the experience is the best teacher. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So, uh, how did you know what type of music you wanted to rhyme to? That's the second day. That's the second question I asked. Hey, hey so you know, check this how out. did you know? Hey, this is the type of music I want. This is the type of original music I want to rhyme to. I never had a specific type of music that I wanted to rhyme to. I okay. never had a specific I like genre that. to rhyme to. I was the type of dude. I used to put myself through hours of being in the basement. When I would be by myself, because I spent a lot of time by myself okay. growing up, I'd be in the basement, turn the radio on, freestyle everything that come on the radio. But I would freestyle like I'm featured on the song, so I would wait for a part in the song after the hook, and then start freestyling like I'm like I'm featured, like I'm in the video. So you were you was practicing. Then I would go mm -hmm. to Sweet ninety eight and do it to the rock beats. Mm -hmm. I would go do it to the Disney radio and do it to to the Disney songs. I'm doing it to country music. So me doing that, I started to you know I actually like this country song. I like this pop song. I like this. But see, you know, you, at the end of the day, artist. at the so, end of the day, music is music. Exactly. So I can it's I can it, it's I can do anything on any track. So when I first went in the booth to record for the first time, I'm like, man, it don't matter what the beat is. I'm gonna just follow mm. what the beat tells me. You know what I'm saying? So it, it don't really matter to me. Clips, how about you? How did how did they go that? How did I, it go on to where? You knew what type of music you wanted to rhyme to. Well, let me tell you, it was a heart thing, and I can't say that enough. Whatever is in your heart, 
you know, you are given all these different experiences in life. Like I started off as a young house dancer in Chicago with the whole routines and, you know, the battle right. and dancing. Right. Then I went from there to being an R&B singer with the high top S curl. You know what I mean? The art, the <laughs> Jodeci thing. I'm just saying, I got to tell yeah, you, this is beautiful. This is something I ain't got to worry yeah, about. Yeah, that's what I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm so angry. And right then now. went to there oh, from <laughs> it, it went there for me graduating high school and not going to college and then kind of follow susceptible to the traps of the world, you know right, what I mean? Right, and then yeah. I started having that to talk about in a rap form. So the singing, the the house, the rap, all of them is different types of style that's in me through my life experiences. So the best way to explain it is from the heart. Whatever your life gave you, that's what you kind of give back in your music. Facts. You know, and, and I don't mind that cheesy answer. Right. You just gave. Right. Yeah, but it's the no, truth. No, no, but 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 see, I think I think um from watching um people sing, watching people uh rap over the years, um, I think people are drawn to any type of music that's that that projects their energy. Right. Right? So right. so so Definitely. whatever whatever music you hearing at the time that projects that type of energy that you're giving off. That, I think that's how people are attracted to the beats. Definitely. That's right. So so now and now, even to wrap this up for everybody, um, where do you plan on taking your careers? You know, it, you know, are you wanting to, to go right for people? Are you wanting to help people along in the game? Are you uh are you planning on uh going out of town or uh, more, uh networking more? Are you planning on going to to different types of conventions. This, these are things that people need to do. Again, you you have the internet, but that's just one part of the game. What else do you want to do with your career? Right. And what else, P. Star Machine? What else? What else do you want to do with your career, man? To be honest, it's all about when I first got into music. I, I fell in love with hip hop through the message, the messages. As you know, I dropped a mixtape called The Message. I think messages is powerful in music. So if I could try to change things for not just my society and my city, but for the world to, I mean, you know, no one can change everybody, but if you could just change some people and try to make things better, try to make things better, you know, I want to do that ultimately. You know what I'm saying? I mean, personally, I want to be one of the greatest. You know? But but besides wanting to be one of the greatest, you know, what, you know what? Um, how are you gonna get? How are you gonna get? How are you gonna, gonna My get? My main there? thing right now: is visuals, attacking the internet, attacking World Star, attacking Vivo, attacking Instagram, all of these sites. You know, traveling. That's key. You know what I'm saying? It's been proven that you don't have to move out of Omaha to make it, but you gotta travel. You 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 gotta move outside you gotta, of Omaha. You gotta move that's right. outside of Omaha. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we gotta travel. So that's really what I'm focusing on right now. I got a mixtape that I'm working on called Money, Music, and Blessings. That's coming soon. You know what I'm saying? I got collaborations. I done pull strings, got collaborations with some of the dopest artists in the city. I'm doing this. Are right you here. are you finding these artists or are these artists finding you? It's, it kinda is a little bit of both? A little bit of both. You know what I'm saying? I mean it's kinda Yeah, it's a little bit of both. You know, and it's no money involved. It's just straight love, networking. You know, I'm a I'm a scratch my back and scratch mine type of thing. But you know, the I, studio time can still gotta get paid for. And I, and, I, and I'm gonna handle that, but you know hey, hey, the point of this mixtape. Money, music, and blessings, you know. Point of it is, I want to show my city that we can work together and still make great music. I got a lot of collaborations on this mixtape, a lot of collaborations. A lot of songs where I took artists from different, you know, sets, crews, whatever you want to call it, labels, put them together. And so it's going to be a lot of unity on this. You know what I'm saying? And I want to show people that this is what we need. You know, we can make great music working together. It ain't always got to be who's the best, who's the top artist in Omaha, who's your top five, who's going to be the first one to make it. So I want to show that to my city, too. We all good. We all nice. We all dope. We all great. 
You know what I'm saying? We can make it together like they did in Atlanta. And, and, exactly. And, and we take off, that'd, be first, that'd be the first example. We take I off agree. in Omaha like that. If somebody kicked down the door like that, man, we're going to flood the game. We're going to flood the industry. Well, you say I think I think that's what uh, people are expecting from ISO right, right now. That's because they see him sign to Strange Music. And he got but the we, chance. But we, but we got, but see, he still got to establish himself. He do, he do. Right. It was straight because he can't, you know, he's not going to be automatically come well, back. Game, well, you got to bring know, that guy that come with the game. Yeah. You got to know that you got to crawl before you walk. He ain't finna just get in there and just six months later, oh my God, the whole Omaha, we should be on by like, come on, man, don't do that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? He doing his thing. And I respect the man, you know what I'm saying, for what, he, what he's doing, man. You know so, what I'm saying? Coming from the city. But basically, I'm a grind, man. Traveling, visuals, networking. That's what my main focus is. Well, that same question goes to you, Chris. What, what, what do you plan on doing with your career? Well, right now I currently have a, a website that I am uh, uh, promoting uh, that has my product on it. All my products, my last year's product and this year's product. It also allows you to get free uh, music for putting your email in. So I'm building an internet base. You know, right. where I get my actual subscribers and they become my family members. And then when I hold these events, I can reach out to them. It makes it more personal. Okay. Right. I am also on all the major media outlets like Amazon, iTunes, and Rhapsody and all those things. We got subscriptions to so that I am receiving uh, dividends from that as well. You know, they, they, they got basically all my ASCAP ownership. This is what my, my goal is, ownership. I don't want to do – I'm not – this anybody who went to the label, but I had a lot of chances in my life to be with labels. Urban right. Legend out of uh, New Jersey, Clearwater Entertainment out of Atlanta. Uh, I even worked with uh, Bob Witherspoon and uh, Patchwork Studios. So your focus is, is you having ownership and you doing things on the internet. That's right, and getting and getting it like my man said on the tour. I got a, 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 a constituent of mine, Twistella. I don't know if you're familiar. He out of uh, Jersey. He came through one time and did a little show here, and I. You know, he, he has tour offers where, you know, for a set amount of money, the hotel's taken care of. You just bring your product, you do your show, and you go to the next city. You know what right. I mean? Like, that's my goal is to get on tour and, don't, and, and and just make as much money as I can to get on another tour until the fame comes with the social media and the moving around and the uh, ownership. You know, because if they, I like I was explaining to him, I got loud earlier. It was me being excited because I said, hey, he was talking about ISO. I said, well, look at it this way. I said, all I need is one show where I do maybe uh, 5,000 people and they got it on some type of television. And then 100,000 people see it and only 10,000 buy it at $10 a CD. That's that's my money. Like, I don't have to, like, you know, I don't have to, like, go through the loops of right. contracts. You thinking, and, you thinking like a hustler. Right. Yes, I am. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yeah. And all I need is that to put it back in 70% back into marketing. Because marketing is uh, all uh, available for us. We don't know that we could pay Facebook, YouTube, and everything for all these views and all these things. We could pay right. for our, our, our way in the game. But you take 70% of whatever it is you make and you just put it back into it. So I've been doing a lot of... Like self-educating, and uh, like I, I just know what direction I want to go in. It's about right now. It's marketing right now. That's all that I can think of. But the, the key thing, a key thing, what you said right there was the self-education. Right. Exactly. You know, all you artists out there, self-education. Self-education. Real talk. Knowledge is power. That is definitely facts. All right. So, so let these people know, man, how to get in touch with you, uh, uh, where they can book you. Um, all the information these people need to know, give it to them right now. Holla at me, man. Big Peter Beast. You know, on YouTube, Big Peter Beast. That's B I G G P D A B E A S T. B I 2 G's P, not T H E D A B E A S T. On Instagram, Instagram slash Peter Beast. Twitter, Big Peter Beast. Facebook, Charles Big P. Lagon. And I have another page that's Big Peter Beast. You can, you can get me on there, too. I'm everywhere, man. I'm on all social media outlets. Snapchat, PeterBeast14, add me. You know what I'm saying? Mixtape coming soon, Money, Music, and Blessings. If you ain't heard my music, go right now to datpiff.com. Search Big Peter Beast. I got three mixtapes. Real Recognize Real, The Message. Which one mixtape of the year in 2015 in uh-huh. the city? The message, yeah. But yeah, say I, what? But the, and that's it. That's that's nah, how people can get in touch with you. Yeah, 
But say what I, then I'm what I'm gonna do to hold you. On, hold on, hold on. Also, right, go, go, go ahead. Also, for booking info, Lagan Six, my email, Lagan Six at gmail.com. Hit me up, holla at me. Well, you know, I'm about to holla at you right now. What's so, up with it? Man, hey, give these people 16. Yeah, yeah, right, hey, hey, on time. Hey, man, hey, give, give, hey, give them a reason. Give them a reason. Hey, give them a reason. Hey, give them a reason. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man, give them a reason to, 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 to book. Hey, give them a reason. <laughs> hey, I don't care if it's half a 16, parts of a 16. Yeah, you got to give them some. Hey, hey man, you. give them something, man. People, can I have your attention? Just for a moment, just close your mouth and listen. Look, I'm hotter than everybody that think they spitting. So I'ma spit it and show them there is no competition. Don't doubt me spitting, I'm about to spit. And without me spitting, hip hop would die, disappear and be non-existent. I'm optimistic cause little niggas be politicking. Now I'm suspicious whenever these niggas talk or spitting. Shit, so I only fuck with my bros. Flows cold, hoes froze by the end of my songs. Still in the zone, ripping these songs. Niggas is on, niggas is known. Pussy get thrown and bitches come home. The illest niggas spitting, people anxious to listen. Spitting crack booth, cooking like I rap in the kitchen. Niggas praying on my dad. Downfall, hoping and wishing, but y'all been doing that for years, and I'm still on a mission. Fuck them. You motherfuckers and suckers could never cause a ruckus. I'm riding for my people. Y'all act like Uncle Ruckus. Fake niggas that talk like they know something. So if a nigga talk too much, I think he knows nothing. Fuck them. I'm off the radar, because they are. If they stars, where am I? Because I'm 20 times what they are. I'm shooting to the top with an Uzi and an AR. And I will never stop until the world, you know, become ours. I go hard forever spitting. Oh, I always wrap the ribbon. Everlasting, even death can't stop my spirit in the booth with my bro chilling getting lifted thinking about the next step for us on the road to riches bitches Ooh. bars uh-huh. bars go download Them my mix bars if you ain't got i just it. love it i go love download it go download it if you oh. ain't got oh. it like, could, hey, hey clips how can people be a hot summer how can people get in touch with you my man man first of all www WTF record 007.com. That's the website. If you have any of the subscriptions like to Amazon or Apple Music, you just type in high energy eclipse. If you are interested in videos, because we have a video company, uh, Indigo Images, if you're uh, interested in songwriting or, or production, all you have to do is get with my manager uh, on Instagram at Indigo Kid 87, and we will get right back to you. Uh, if you have any type of uh, like projects that you want to do, we do commercials, everything from this uh, this one little message. Indigo Kid at Indigo Kid 87 on Instagram. Uh, if you are interested in like booking, you can get in touch with our uh, email address. Uh, that's cold as ice group 007.com. One more time. That's cold as ice group. 007.com you know uh we on all the major media outlets like my friend says so just that? type in high energy eclipse with a k uh bars well hold, hold up hold up because i'm i'm gonna introduce that all right we gotta give these people a reason <sighs> for them to either mess with you give them a reason to mess with you if you don't all right here we go let's go bars <laughs> Seduce you, leave your stone face, Medusa, hit you with the many different ways like computer, calculate a hundred mil, me imagine that, share with my people, known for giving back, Pac-Man, watch them for ghosts, get in the mold, some will worry about mine, you can worry about yours, yeah. a lot of these nursery rhyme niggas is eating, any, many, many more I want to be you, time to raise an ante, I'm going to see you when I see you, I demand for what I stand for, and nonetheless, you can aim it at my head or you can aim it at my chest, it don't matter, I'm not really, it don't matter, I'm not afraid of the life after, I'm just trying to pick a proper way to end a chapter with high energy. That's the cover song, everybody. Uh, high energy. Okay. High energy. Okay. Full of high well, energy. Hey, hey, we'll pre- hey, man, I appreciate Big P, <sighs> Eclipse, yes. on the first, first ever, ever Houston Alexander podcast, uh, man. So, hey, I appreciate yes, y'all coming uh, out, man. Yes, man. I feel like this is a this is a monumental moment, everyone. <laughs> this is history. We made history. <laughs> we made history. I, mean, I got a chance to make history hey, today. Hey, Houston. <laughs> Houston Alexander. And for hey, for for anybody out there, seriously, for anybody out there trying to get in get in touch with me, you hey, you can just Google me. That's right. Uh, hey, hey, Straight hey, up. Hey, Houston Alexander uh, dot org. Right. Uh Houston Alexander on any of the social media sites. Hey, we we trying to put everybody on. Right. Exactly. We're trying to have we're trying to have a conversation to all these artists out there. So so please. Get a hold of me. It's the next big thing.
Appreciate you, Big P. Most deaf. Appreciate you, appreciate Hey, y'all. man, I appreciate being I'm the first. Here, so I appreciate all the hey, viewers on the That live. means everything. I'm out of here. <laughs>